Hey, what up decisive marketers? When we talk about building an app, um, not custom built apps, but apps that are using a uh, app builder to help you to do, to do that. Um, there are a couple of tools uh, or methods out there that help you to achieve this. So one way is building an app from scratch. So you, they actually give you a app builder and you just um, build an app within it. The other way is uh, using, uh, it, it actually converts your website into an app. So it converts like a WordPress website into an app. Okay, so uh, there are, you know, pros and cons between these methods. Okay, and then the last one is actually what we call a progressive web app where it turns your website with all the HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript uh, content and turn it into an app on your phone that you can open up with uh, a browser, some sort like, a, um, you know, using your browser to open up the app. So there are pros and cons between these three methods. So if you are making use of progressive web apps, the uh the the pro is that it's very easy to do so you can just convert any website into an app most of the features would be working right uh the next uh feature the next method is you know using that uh using a a, a a, a, a tool that converts your app into uh your website into a mobile uh, app so these kinds of apps, uh, this kind of uh, tools, however, uh, if you are, let's say, building it on WordPress or something like that, it may not work well on the mobile um, app itself, right? So it, when you convert it, some features might not be working. And the last way is actually to build an app uh, from scratch. Uh, not actually coding the app itself, they give you a uh, sort of a builder, right? Something like a uh, page builder, right? Or a website builder, um, and then you just build uh, your pages. They call it screens on mobile apps. So you use, you build screens um, individually uh, as you go along, right? So uh, there are. Uh, so the last method, however, is uh, of course going to take a little bit more time. But this particular tool, however, has made it a lot easier for you to um, actually build an app. Okay, and this tool here is called Mob App Creator, which is um, simple to remember, right? Mobile App Creator, right? And uh, before we dive into Mob App Creator, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. So here we are in uh, Mob App creator okay so i have already uh created a app right here okay this is um i'm actually building this for uh a uh, one of my websites okay so this o over here on the right here you have the uh you know the real time kind of uh, um you know model of the app itself so i have created something like this it's a simple app where you have a chat right here um, I'm probably not going to have the chat in the first um, screen so what happens is that the when you boot up the app the first um, <coughs> the first uh, screen would be this block right here okay and uh, I'll be able to um, it's of course is is you know it's a little bit slow, but you'll be able to scroll up and down. Um, can you see that? Right. So these are some of the blocks um, that's on my website already. So the first thing it's you know your main navigation. So how do you want to uh, you know allow the navigation? To, you know you can have what we call a drawer where there's a hamburger man uh, menu. Right, so it looks like this, okay, but it seems to take a little bit um, too much when the uh, you know drawer is open. So, um, so maybe we can have something like a tap bar, like this, right? Or you can have um, 
wow this actually seems a lot nicer so let me just um switch this sorry this is the background let me just grab the um background of the website that I have and uh, just doing some <laughs> adjustments right here so let me just grab this color right here okay and then we'll paste this in okay we'll paste we'll paste this in and uh, let's have the other background to be this gray right here okay so oops sorry pick color okay and then we've got this gray right here I'm going to copy this and have this gray background okay so let's take a look how and see how the tab bar um, style of navigation will look like so they already gave you a um, couple of uh, okay so I think it might be a lot nicer if we swap this around okay so let me just swap them around Oops. okay so let me grab this color here and paste it in here and let's take a look and see how it would look like okay all right so got to refresh the app maybe a different color instead let's try the dark blue instead okay I think I have this already so let's try with this dark blue here okay it's it's slightly better I think what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna grab this color and adjust it a little let me move it move it to this color here and I think it will look slightly better this way okay I don't think that is nice as well um, what I guess I would do is just keep it the same because I think maybe the thin is making some adjustment yeah so I think this looks better right just keep the background the same color okay and I think that looks nice right you see that right so um, so here we have uh, the, this is the tab bar and this is the tab bar version 2 um, I'm not really sure what the difference between these two are okay it's just a sort of you know different looking one um, I'm gonna just move on and let's see the list the list style okay so it just kind of looks like this which is I don't think I like that I'm just gonna keep it as the tab bar this one right here I think it looks uh, decently well okay so I have four items right here um, actually when you create an app uh, they do give you a template right so you can choose a template and start building from there um, then let me just kind of show you what the uh, con uh, what kind of um, screens that you can build with this okay they call it screens uh, and not like pages okay so you can uh, display your articles uh, with this you can use uh, RSS feed and pull in uh, f into your app which I've done so for this one right here and you can show events you can show maps 
you can show people uh, and contact details uh, you can even have e-commerce feature in here uh, so you can add your products uh, you can show your card your orders uh, forms contacts incident report so I think this would be great uh, as a for insurance uh, um, app right so this is actually meant for an insurance app uh, you got your newsletter so this is for your you know lead capture uh, reservation uh, subscription suggestion you can also use type form all right and then you can create um, you know uh, you, ha you can have type form within here uh, suggestions chat chat with users Facebook feed uh, Twitter feed okay so I've added Facebook feed in here and uh, this one is actually a one I believe this is a one-to-one -one, um, let me see provide a conversation channel for your app users chat with users uh, I don't actually know what the difference between these two are let me just check this out so this is chat with users okay um, which I've already used uh, this I think so let me just try the other one which is um, chat and see if there's anything different it seems to look the same maybe one is like a community chat probably and the other one would be like you chatting with a single person directly and then you got multi radio you got playlist photo gallery podcast uh, radio streaming video streaming YouTube uh, click to app click to call click to email click to SMS uh, click to WhatsApp so these are meant for just um, a message right and then you can have a web connect so this one uh, opens up a URL right uh, I believe it will launch your Chrome I'm not sure if let me see if, if we can actually open up the website without opening a browser so there's a browser notification bar as well let's see what happens right I'm curious about this as well okay so web connect I think it might load up the website yeah it actually loads up the website in mobile can you see that even the uh, consulto um, it's actually appearing within here so this is actually very interesting uh, f with this web connect feature because you can just show your website in there right and uh, I think that is a re really interesting feature uh, you can also connect to a video streaming service so what is that video streaming service video streaming URL okay so this is really interesting let me just <laughs> check it out right and see if we can find any information about it uh, video streaming okay so video streaming okay so let's take a look at this video streaming we'll dive in, okay into video streaming we will dive deeper into each media screen so okay it doesn't re actually say like what m video streaming is but if you can actually add like um like a rtmp probably uh i got to verify this but if you can put a rtmp streaming url in here maybe you might be able to see a live uh, video playing in here right uh, I, I can't be too sure but it is possible uh, it might be possible with this if that is the case then this app uh, uh, mob app creator is really powerful I think number one would be this web connect it's I uh, it looks really powerful uh, 
and then um, app previewer so this allows you to test all your apps using your device chat support so this one let's see what that is okay so uh so this is actually talking to you right so chat support is actually talking to you uh company chat i guess is like anyone can use it to send messages within the chat itself and let's see uh favorite so you can favorite content in here inbox uh screen builder set more so this is meant for scheduling appointments and then you've got manage profile notifications and more sub menu and tabs so let's check out what tabs is so uh, I guess this functions like a sub menu okay so what happens is that I can place this into tabs so now uh, let me just rename this screen and call this social so what happens is I click on social then there would be an item here called Facebook right here you can see that so um, I think that this mob app creator is getting a lot more interesting because <laughs> just about um, 30 minutes ago when I was playing with this uh, I kind of um i didn't realize like what it can do um because i i didn't i i didn't actually look deeply enough uh for the web connect feature uh you know tabs and there's a click to app so this is like a deep linking uh feature as well so if you deep link to the app i think it opens up the app right so um like you can have a maybe like a url to a youtube video i guess and you open up that that youtube video right um i think this is this tool is really powerful i, I can't believe that um you know no one is really talking about this um you know there's a company chat uh settings and all that yeah I think that this uh, pretty much is um, all that I have to share. Overall, there's also some main settings right here. Um, let me just quickly go through so you can set up your app icons, your app data, your um, publishing um, history, right? And then before you can publish your app as well, you got to put in your um, information right here. Okay, your assets. Um, you got to put in all the uh, information that's needed um, and then you got to set up a Google Play um, a, a developer account and you know set all this up before you can publish it to uh, Google Play Store right? and then push notifications so you can send push notifications from your apps right and then uh, any ad campaigns and uh, radio streaming WhatsApp right and I think that's about it okay so I think overall a uh, mob app creator of course is not going to be able to create a lot of powerful features but just within uh, the app itself I think it's already pretty powerful if there's a way that we could um, you know crop certain part of the um, webs maybe like the website or something uh, we might be able to just grab that area and place it in the, within the app and i think that would be really interesting so that's all i have to share about mob app creator if you have uh, enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about mob app creator in the comments below and lastly if you uh, know anyone who could benefit from an uh, app creator be sure to share this video with them and uh, that's all i have to share i'll see you in my next video Bye bye